What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best Streamlabs settings for low end PCs on Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. After installing Streamlabs to your system, open up the application and navigate to your settings. On this window, navigate to the Output tab and set the Output mode to Advanced. Under Streaming, set the Audio Track option to 2 or more in case you're using multiple microphones or other inputs. Set the encoder to hardware NVENC in case you're using a powerful enough NVIDIA GPU. The encoder will then render your stream using your graphics card, which will take the load of your CPU. But in case you plan on streaming gameplay, then make sure that the game is not too taxing on your GPU. In case this doesn't apply to you, or if you feel like your processor is efficient enough, and set this option to Software X264. Next, make sure to check the Enforce Streaming Service Encoder Settings option and don't select to rescale your output. Below, set the rate control to CBR, which stands for Constant Bitrate, and set your bitrate to a value your network connection and system can handle. In case you're unsure about your bandwidth, then visit speedtest.net. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. This website will give you a good idea about your up and download speed, as well as your latency. Make sure that your ping remains below 100 milliseconds and that your upload speed is at least 6 megabytes per second, which you will need to stream in 720p and use web applications, or to stream in 1080p without putting too much stress on your upload connection. After verifying your network connection, you should be able to set your bitrate accordingly. I will set it to 3700, which is more than enough to stream in 720p and 60fps. In case you wish to stream in 1080p, then set this to about 5000. This will in turn only work when using a reliable network connection, which can steadily hold your upload speed. In case you struggle with your connection, then I suggest using an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection, and restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while. Don't use a custom buffer size and set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds. Below, set the CPU usage preset according to your processor speed. For older and slower CPUs, use the preset super fast. And for newer and faster models, use faster or even fast. Below, set the profile to main and leave the other settings to their default values. Next, in your video tab, Set the base resolution to your native monitor resolution and set the output resolution to the resolution which you want to stream in. I suggest setting this to 720p for low to mid-end PCs, as this will be a lot less taxing to your system's components and network connection. When streaming, I prefer to set the downscale filter to B cubic and to Langsos when recording on OBS. Below, Set the FPS type option to common FPS values and common FPS values to 30, 48 or 60, depending on what works best for you and your viewers. In case you're not sure about which frame rate and output resolution to choose, then I suggest making a test stream to see what looks best without lagging on your system. In your advanced settings, set the preset priority option to above normal and below under network Make sure that the bind to IP option is set to default. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.